Hello, everyone. Here's to hoping this isn't the longest five minutes of my life or yours. <laughs> uh, my challenge to you today is to go home and find your most important photos and discover what the stories are behind them. Some of those photos are going to trigger individual memories, like my memory of our hunting camp where there was more snoring than hunting, uh, salamanders under stumps, and whippoorwills singing, if you know what that is. Some photos are actually going to tell a story. This is the story of my Aunt Barbara and my dad, and they were running away from home, and my grandmother was nice enough to pack their lunch in their lunch pail. And because of this physical picture, this story has lived on for 80 plus years. Some photos are actually going to serve as a reminder of how you're loved. My children are not old enough to remember these individual memories, but they will know by seeing these pictures that they were loved by their pappy. Some photos are going to give you a glimpse into someone else's world. This was my dad's world. He was a carpenter, and he did what he loved, and he loved what he did for a lifetime, and that's a legacy that we could all learn something from. And although this building is now empty, it's filled with many memories, memories of me helping my dad, um, I can still go into this building today and smell the wood chips and it brings back many fond memories. And it also is the place where the ghosts of my great uncle and my dad both worked. This is my great uncle. And when I found this photo in a drawer as we were getting ready for the auction, I had a little regret that I didn't have any pictures of my father doing what he loved to do. So I encourage you to go home and take photos of people doing what they love to do. As you're looking through some of your photos and sifting through the mounds, you're gonna find gold. And the gold here is not them digging for gold, but the gold is my dad up in the very top that you can see. This was one of the last pictures that I had of him. My mom would hate that picture. This is my grandmother who turned 100 on December 12, 2012. So think about that for a moment. <laughs> and those are my kids. And I took pictures with me, like these, and questioned her and asked her some stories. And my children were present for that, which was an important part of the process, because I think that it's interesting to have them know what their family stories are as well. Some stories are gonna go undiscovered. You're not gonna know what is behind the photo. This was a road that my grandparents told us never to play on or near, yet here they are on the road having their pictures taken. This was called Brownstone Hill, if that means anything. So I inspire you to involve the younger generation in those family story discoveries. It's gonna be really important for them at some point. This was her at 101. Looking at my kids thinking, who are they? <laughs> this woman is my chance to get it right. This is my mom. She's been diagnosed with dementia and we have quite a journey in front of us, I'm sure. And it's gonna be important for me to really document those stories and get pictures of her and know what her life was like. Pictures like these are going to trigger discovery sessions with her. And I can learn more about the experiences and the relationships that she had with family members. It's also gonna become important for me to start making sure that I'm documenting the new memories. This is her 80th birthday and it was one of the nicest days we've ever had. And on occasion, I am going to have to embrace the selfie, which I am not a big fan of. But it's gonna be important for both of us to have pictures like this that I can use with her and for me. There may come a day that she won't know who I am. And I also have to recognize that it doesn't have to be a technically good picture to be a good picture. In all its blur, you know they're having a great time, and there is a lot of love right there. And remember that the photos are not about the physical piece of paper, but it's about the people in them, and the relationships, and the love that goes on between them. And I also have to know to hand the camera to someone else, and you should all do the same. I know how I felt as I was digging through my own photos, looking for photos of my dad and my mom, and I knew how important it was. When I found those photos, it's gonna be important for my kids as well to find photos of me someday. So I encourage you to go home and find your important photos and discover the stories behind them. Go home and take pictures with your family 
and go home and just be present with your family.